Good afternoon, everyone. We've put together a video briefing to discuss the severe weather and flooding threats that are going to be facing our area over the next several days as we begin to settle into a more active weather pattern. Starting with today, there is a low chance that storms will develop along a dry line out to our west this afternoon and then move eastward into portions of western Oklahoma and western North Texas. Uh, if these storms are able to develop, they are going to be capable of producing some very large hail up to the size of baseballs, damaging wind gusts, and a tornado or two is also possible. However, this afternoon, most people should stay dry. Uh, the, if these storms form, they're going to be fairly isolated. And then moving into the overnight period, uh, we're expecting that additional thunderstorms are going to develop late tonight across portions of central Texas and then move northeastward across the area through tomorrow morning. The main risk with these storms would be flooding, uh, as they should produce some heavy rainfall, um, although damaging winds and a few tornadoes uh, are also possible with these storms. After any morning thunderstorms clear out, there's likely going to be a lull tomorrow afternoon, uh, especially from the late morning into early afternoon period before additional thunderstorms develop across western Oklahoma. These storms will then move eastward across the region late tomorrow afternoon into the evening, and very large hail is going to be the main threat with these storms, but damaging winds and isolated tornadoes are also possible. So with multiple rounds of thunderstorms possible over the next day or day and a half, and with the recent heavy rainfall that portions of the area have received, uh, we're expecting that a flood risk will also develop for the areas shown here, mostly across portions of central into southeastern Oklahoma. And then after a quiet and fairly pleasant day on Sunday, our attention is quickly turning to Monday, which we are watching closely as a day for potentially significant severe weather for portions of the area. All severe weather hazards are possible, including tornadoes. So now would be a good time to review your severe weather safety plan. And we're going to be updating this forecast through the weekend, so just make sure that you check back as new information becomes available. And finally, uh, here we have a forecast for rainfall totals over the next five days. And with multiple rounds of thunderstorms expected now through Tuesday, uh, a lot of rainfall is forecast for most of the area. The amounts shown here are just general amounts, but some people could see more than this under heavier thunderstorms, which could lead to um, some flooding concerns. And here is some ways that you can reach us for additional information, including on Twitter and Facebook. And as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be updating this forecast through the weekend, so just make sure that you're checking back daily for the most up-to-date information.